today I'm going to be playing Chinatown Detective Agency. So in case you haven't heard of this game, it is on Game Pass and you know it interests me because it kind of looks like this other game that I've played on Game Pass called um, Backbone. So let's jump into it, let's see what this is about. I'm really excited to start playing this today, so let's go. Yes, start a new game. Alright, cool. We get a little intro video. Singapore. Man looks upon all that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being, a witness to the brilliance of its master, and the executor of his commands. Is that a police dog? But police man's robot dog? The greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, vanity, hubris. Holy crap! And it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. Okay. Alright, let's do this. It's a start. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, okay, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelang. Hey, brought you a little gift. I don't well, I drink, give. Justin. Oh, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Yeah, we're ready to get, we're ready to get to work. Come on. Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? Yeah, let's do I it. I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Heck yeah. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you'll need to see him somewhere more discreet. Alright, bet, bet. SPF. Sun protection factor? What? Civilian. <laughs> when are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you'll do work you regret for a pittance and you'll get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. Hmm. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Uh. Okay. 
I like money. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. No. My days as a cop are over. Yeah, I'm a detective now, Justin. I'm a detective. Let's get it straight. Oh, no harm in asking. Alright, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. Might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, set me up with a sweet deal, Take huh? Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. We'll do, we'll do, Justin. Thanks. Justin wasn't joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Okay. Although... That doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. So that should narrow down my options. Okay, so we're looking for plants to find this guy, apparently. Welcome to Chinatown Detective Agency. Missions will take you to difficult place or different places in Singapore and the world. Right now, the mission tasks you with finding a Bodhi tree. Okay, so let's figure out how to get to the map. Okay, so... Oh, this is really cool. East-West line, North-South line, North-East line, Downtown line. Cool, so... Alright. Let's have a little look around. Bookshelf. More for display than anything else. Who even reads actual books these days? Yeah, that's true. Um, a lot of my schoolwork is just online. I never have to actually have a physical book. Okay, I'm um, guessing this is... Yep, my email. Cool. What else do we have here? Oh, the globe. Cool, cool. My filing cabinets. A cost-cutting measure. Didn't think I'd see the day cloud storage would cost more than actual physical storage. Yeah. A lot more reliable, too. You always have ways to access it. The world is rendered in a hologram. Bat pack? Bat back? Always oh, said I'd go places. Okay. I can barely see Singapore, though. Probably just a little green dot. Delivery menus, newspaper, clippings. Vestiges of a disappearing print, media, but nothing detective agency, no, but no detective agency is complete without a bulletin board. Okay, what's in here? No, 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 not yet. No, okay, nothing else there. Yeah, let's go out. Let's hit the streets. Let's see what's out here. Let's get it popping. Alright, uh... Shit, I don't know. Let's go food center. Yeah, let's talk to her. I haven't been sleeping well. Been away from my boyfriend for more than a year. He's working overseas. On the bright side, I've been so tired that I've mastered the art of sleeping while standing up. Which is cool, cause, cause... She seems to have dozed off mid-sentence. Yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm a little piggy. What? <laughs> what? Okay, cool. Don't trust anybody that says they don't care for or enjoy food. Yeah, me neither. Me neither, Gabrielle. Well, that's what I think. No, I mean I totally agree. Can I not go that way? Oh, well that was awkward. No matter where I room, my life and love are found at home. Oh. Name's Randall, but my friends calls me my friends call me Whiskers, cause I'm curious like a cat. My two rules: one, be awesome to each other; two, there's always time for proper grammar. Stick to those two rules, and you'll always land on your feet, like me. That's why my friends call me Whiskers. 
Uh, dude, your, your name's Format? Black Cat always has your wallet. That restaurant makes the best chili crab. You die, die, must try. Delish. Ugh. Hope they open up soon. Okay, well. You guys leave a comment. What is your favorite food? I have to say it's a close tie for me with pizza and hibachi. But always steak and chicken hibachi. Or steak and shrimp hibachi. Either way, love it. Or uh, a nice pepperoni pizza. Uh, Alright, let's go to the bus stop. Let's check out the bus stop. No fare, no rod, $500 fine. Didn't used to be so strict when I was still a student getting by on the discount bus pass. Yeah, I'm not reading that. All the places to meet, why a bus stop? Yeah, all right, same thing. Seems like I spend all my time at work wishing I could be out doing something fun, but whenever I do, I just end up worrying I should be more productive. The star the stars are nice though. Even with all the light, pollution, it can't be beaten. I'm waiting for my son Juan. This here's our little rally spot. I came out of this black pit. No. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'm supposed to do something here. Find a place where one may find a Bodhi tree, non-native species in Singapore. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm in the right... Well, hold on. Close, okay. I don't think a tree would be down here at a bus stop. Let's go to the botanic gardens. The tree's probably there. The botanical gardens, first laid out in is that an 8? Pretty sure that's 8. 1659 would be a long time ago. First laid out in 1859 during British rule. Countless species of plants and animals have called this home over the years, but I'm here for one in particular, the Bodhi Tree by Swan Lake. The client should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate though. Gate system, please connect matching nodes to proceed hacking. Okay. Oh, so it's like one of these. Are those the same? Yeah, okay. Nope. Alright, that one, that one, uh, this one, that one. Uh, I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet this one. Ooh, ooh. Oh, let's get it. Alright, we're gonna 
cutscene. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it, on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. I mean, I just hacked a gate. Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. Okay, Rupert. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you... I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, no, I won't stop you. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are, most of the time. Okay, Rupert, that's a little weird. I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. Yeah, I guess so. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. Good luck. Peace out, Rupert. Mission log at the bottom right corner logs all your leads and other relevant information to the case. You can open it through the bottom panel. Right now, you may want to go to the last known location of Philip. Yeah, but let's look at this tree first. I remember seeing a tree like this somewhere near my old childhood home. It looked scary at night. The older folk would tell me not to walk too close to one at night. It doesn't look so scary through the the jaded eyes of an adult. Alright guys, so... Now, let's look at this. Alright, so last new location of Philip. Philip's phone is National Library in the Civil District. So let's head over to the Civil District and see what we can find out there. I like this whole like futuristic vibe of this game. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's go to the National Library. The National Library, it's a miracle still up and running, considering how underfunded the government is. I need to run in I need to run a search on the database to know which section of the library I should be headed for. Right, let's find the database. I don't feel like talking to these people. One of the key mechanics of Chinatown Detective Agency is that it requires the player to figure out things on their own. That means going online doing search for information that could help you crack a clue. In this case, you should run a search on the quote Rupert told you about. Then, type the author name 
or the name of the book quote that it came from in the National Library's automated receptionist console. Okay. Am I actually gonna have to type all of that? Okay, cool, I guess. Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this. This might take a minute. Oh shoot. B. Not X like it normally is. Okay, let's just, let's try this. Okay, well, not that at all. I'm gonna need a book ready to figure out where that quote came from. Okay, uh, maybe that's not it. I haven't been reading anything at all. Uh, let's not go to a creepy basement. Hey, you know what? You know what? The future is moving faster than we think, and I and I get this uneasy feeling that we're moving towards some sort of inevitable. I guess the future ain't what it used to be, huh? I think that's why I prefer reading about history like a nostalgia kind of guy. Call me biased, but these days, old school is still best school. I don't know, I kind of like my iPad. <sighs> I really need to work on my assignments instead of procrastinating. Not today, though. Have you ever photographed the, photographed the gray-headed fish eagles at Sung, Sungay Pandan recently? There are three of them. Last I checked, it used to be six not so long ago. If you're lucky, you'll catch them diving into the river for fish. Won't see much of that in the next few years with the way things are going. Okay, let's head to the basement. History, Arthur A, author A through L, M through Z, Asian history, okay. The library has access to the National Archive. Sadly, not a lot of people seem to be using them anymore. So I, I'm guessing I'm going to figure out who borrowed this book, track them down once I figure out what the book is. Just a guess. Alright, let's pull up this again. All Men's Miseries. The bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Alright, let's try to type in a different section of that. Maybe I'm just completely missing the point here. I wish I could run. That'd be nice.
All right, let's type in some keywords. So I can type in keywords. So let's pull this back up again. Um, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Let's type that in. Ah, dang it, I did it again. Okay, let's try this one more time. Let's try like part of it. Okay, um, well this is weird. Do I have to type in the whole thing? Probably have to type in like all, all of this, like every single bit of it, even the beginning. Okay, uh, well, let's try that instead. Kind of sucks that I can't just type in like a short version of it. Okay.
Okay, I can't even type anymore. Um... This is awkward. Uh... Alright, let's figure this out. Anything's in dialogue. Uh. Oh, okay. So, I'm not sure what to do next. I'm just going to type this in on my computer right here. Let's we'll see what pops up. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, Herodotus. So let's see if that works. Oh, okay. That okay, I just need to look it up on my own. That's that's some real detective work. Yep, here we go. Wow, look at that! A new face! You here for the free Wi-Fi? <laughs> That's pretty I'm funny. looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, you're, uh, you're serious. 
Yeah, I'm serious, May. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. Or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? I'm looking for The Histories by Herodotus. Goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. Where's her neck? <laughs> Here we go, the histories. Herodotus. Took an impress, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Hmm. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. On the contrary, a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Hmm. Ugh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. Okay. Got some more detective work coming up. This is a clue. Uh, clue? Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Um, technically yes, but you'll have to file a G2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an e-application to the security department and... No, okay. I haven't got time for that. That's a lot of work, uh, yeah. Hang on. What's going on here? Things are escalating pretty quickly. Look, May, this is detective business only. I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlying parts are a clue? Okay, May. Let's stop being a little too smart here. Leave the detective work to me. I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Again, May. Detective work. Detective work here. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. A hundred thou wow? And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with uh, helping solve a case. Yeah, you have nothing to say to that, huh? So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now. The librarians... Oof. I'm sorry. You're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I... Uh, tell you what. 300... And you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay grade, and times like these, you gotta look out for number one, you know? Oh, um, 300 it is, I guess. Okay, it says here the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by a Genevieve Go. Address? Well, now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Let's get real. The law is out of service until further notice. If this person's going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 Bidok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. I don't know, May. This is, uh, this is important detective work here. That would be extremely helpful. Okay, never mind. She's down for it. I'm down for it. <laughs> Does this technically make me a private eye now? Yeah, you could say that. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. Preach, preach. Alright, let's figure out what is next. Head to Bidok. Last person to check out the book lives in 42. Alright. Well, I think in the next episode, we'll head there and see what we have going on. But, um, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll have a video up later. 
and if it is still July 4th for everybody happy 4th of July and I will catch you guys in the next video